Every week, uh, this week, I asked him what he thought of the whole world. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, direct from New York, giving us what he classes as an opinion. Mr. Dennis Leary. You know what I like about England? It's not France, okay? It's not cheese and wine and long white bread, okay? I get down to France. Do, 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 do. France, country to make Jerry Lewis famous for Christ's sake. I got two words for France, okay? Mickey Rourke, all right? I think Jerry Lewis said it best, and he said, la, 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 la. Russia? Who the hell is that? Sorry. Oh, sorry about that uh, nuclear weapon communism world domination thing. You want some ice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna wait on line for three and a half months to buy a hat. Fuck you. Fuck you and the big Czechoslovakian guy you wrote in on. Yes! Say one word. Why? Next! Switzerland. Yeah, great. Why don't you put some holes in the cheese and make a knife with a corkscrew in it? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you just build a big chocolate watch while you're at it? Okay, you little boys? Denmark? What the fuck? Yeah, Denmark, Finland, Sweden, Norway. You guys are all different people. You don't look anything alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm, what do I buy? A Volvo or a Volvo? Ants, Chris, and Anderson, my ass. Turkey, nice name. Greece, even better. Hmm, what do we call our country? Shit, the bits, oil, and Japan. Japan. Better products that last longer and cost less. What do they think this is? A democracy? I got three words for Japan. Torah, Torah, Torah. Okay. Yeah. China, nice bike. Yeah, four billion people, no cars, and I'm the fucking asshole? I don't think so, okay? So, <laughs> are you ready? Australia, three words. Olivia Newton John, okay? And no argument. Ireland, perfect. England, not bad. USA? Hey, don't forget it. We still got the bomb. Folks, why can't we just get along, huh? Why can't we put aside our differences and live together in peace and harmony? Huh? Why? I'll tell you why. Because we hate each other! <laughs> I want the house, the kids, the car, the big events, the pool. I want the big pool, the big kidney-shaped pool. Yeah, I want a CD player. I want a Sony ES CDP 77 multi-changer system so I can dump seven CDs in there and look into it all day. The not for Nirvana or I want Michael Jackson's nose. I want his original nose mounted on a plaque and hung in my living room. I want Airbirds, not Air Jordans, Airbirds. I want sneakers that guarantee I can only jump three inches off the ground. Sneakers that won't let me run faster than two miles per hour. I want a Patriot missile launch. I pay my taxes. Why can't I have one? I want to watch missiles in my backyard. I want to sit in my big fluorescent raft, in my swimming trunks, my NFL starter red zebra swimming trunks, in my big kidney-shaped pool, and blow up cannons. I want a helmet. I want a cheese helmet. I want a helmet full of cheese. You just pop on your head and eat all day. I want it all, folks. And I'm going to get it with or without your help, okay? I think you hear me knocking, and I think I'm coming in. You know what? I'm already wearing the cheese helmet. Two words, Jonathan. Royal family. Five more words. Royal pain in my ass. What is up with these people? The bird gets photographed topless with a Texas tycoon? So what? I think that should be a requirement. Marry into the royal family? Show us your dick. Ray through London and open limousine naked from the waist up. Arrive naked in countries around the world and say, Hi, I'm Princess Di, and these, of course, are my tits. Okay? Male or female doesn't matter. Prince Philip, pull out your pup. Why is everybody so shocked that a member of the royal family would have an affair? They're just normal people just like you and me. They put on their 12,000 pound Versace camel hair collection riding pants one leg at a time. Let me get this straight. Princess Di is anorexic, bulimic, manic, depressive, and she wants to kill herself? Hmm. I wonder why. Taking a good look at the prince lately? Wow. Turn the lights down. Remember the guy who broke into Buckingham Palace, made it all the way to the Queen's bedroom, and then stopped? It wasn't because he got nervous, folks. He took one good look at the Queen and went, Security! Security! Yeah. I mean, what family need? Palaces, castles, jewels, crowns, baubles, bangles, trinkets, scepters, polo ponies, and of course, the world's largest cigarette lighter. Told you you should have put in a smoking section. Three words, folks. Taxes, taxes, taxes. A guy! Here in America, we've got our own royal family, the Kennedys, and they don't put up with any of this British bullshit. They're not manic, depressive, they're not anorexic, they're not polemic, and they don't try to kill themselves. Because, of course, we take care of that part. Poor. Three words, video music awards, okay? Best band, best male, best female, best concept, cut the shit. Yeah. Okay, let's get to the real awards here. Best pants, best hair, best use of this candy clad model's ass, best almost glimpse of a naked breast. Come on, I got two words for Marky Mark, Donnie Wahlberg, okay? I got two words for you too, the Pogues. I got three words for Van Halen, David Lee Roth, okay? The Beastie Boys, check your head, guys. I think it's empty. You know what I like about that flip? That damn thing! I'd like to take this opportunity to personally thank the Black Crows for bringing bell bottoms in the early 70s back in the style. Two words, guys. Jet Roto. Two more words. Aqualung, okay? Remember when rock and roll didn't have an award show? Remember when there wasn't a rock and roll hall of fame? I think you do. I think you hear me knocking, and I think I'm coming in, and I got Neil Sadak and the base of you rollers and a box of fluorescent lime green polyester leisure suits with me. <laughs>
want it on TV? I'll tell you what. Aerosmith, Vanilla Ice, and Cher, okay? No Crosby, no Stills, no Nash. No bald guys, no fat guys, no fat bald guys, no rock stars who look like history professors, okay? R.E.M., no. Marky Mark, no. P.M. Dawn, no. No half-hour comedy hour, no one-hour comedy hour. No rock, no jock, no Ed, no Dre, no Polly, no Joyner. All I want is Cindy Crawford, okay? House of Style, 24 hours a day. No MTV news unless it's news about Cindy. What she's doing, what she's wearing, what she smells like, okay? No music unless it's songs about Cindy, okay? I want half-hour specials about Cindy. I want hour-long documentaries about Cindy. I want Cindy unplugged. I want acoustic Cindy. I want long, drawn-out, slow-motion shots of Cindy walking, Cindy sleeping, Cindy eating an Eskimo pie naked on the roof of the Empire. So I say Billy. Okay? I want to change the house of style to the house of Cindy. Not MTV, CTV. No rock, no promos, no Richard Gere. Just me and Cindy, okay? I think you hear me knocking, Richard. And I think I'm coming in, and I got a box full of Eskimo pies with me. You know something, folks? I think rock and roll's taking itself a little bit too seriously lately, okay? They're making two-hour movies based on bands. They made a two-hour movie about the doors. Do we need this? No, we don't. No, we don't. I can sum it up for you in five seconds. I'm drunk. I'm nobody. I'm drunk. I'm famous. I'm drunk. I'm dead. Okay, there's the whole movie. Big, fat, dead guy in a bathtub. There's the title for you. Don Henley's gonna tell me how to feel about the environment. I don't think so, okay? I got two words for Don Henley. Joe Walsh, okay? Sting. He wants to save the seals. He wants to save the rainforest. How about saving your hair, okay, pal? R.E.M. Shiny, happy people. Hey, 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 hey. Hold that button. Over to the side of the pretentiousness turnpike, okay, pal? I want everybody off the bus. I want the shiny people over here and the happy people over here, okay? I represent angry, gun toting meat eating people, pal. I got two words from Michael Stipe Steve Kyman, okay? I think Mama Cass said it best. He said, <laughs> One word drugs. I grew up in the 70s. We did a lot of drugs and listened to a lot of bad music and wore a lot of stupid clothing like bell bottoms and platform shoes. So you want some advice? Here it is. These are your pants. These are your pants on drugs. Okay? Five words, folks. KC and the Sunshine Band. Cocaine. That's a good idea. I want to do a drug that makes my penis strong, makes my heart explode, makes my nose bleed, and sucks all my money out of the bank. Can I do that? Can I sit in a room and sweat for seven hours? I want to make this face all night. I want to talk to complete idiots about nothing for hours on end with no penis and a nose bleed. Is that possible? Where do I sign up for that? And when it comes to crack, I got a little piece of advice for you folks. Never do a drug named after a part of your own ass, okay? I think you hear me knocking, and I think I'm coming in. I'm already in. I'm wandering around the house, and you know what? I found your bell bottom. <laughs> <clears throat> People write the same money for the same job. Isn't it about time to put this principle into play? How about out in Hollywood where the unwritten rule is every actress in her first couple of films has to show her breast? Doesn't matter who it is, Jane Fonda, Daryl Hannah, politically active or not, every actress in her first couple of films has to show us her tits, and then you're free to go. But men don't have to show their tits. Totally unfair. I don't want to hear about Kevin Costner's ass and Mel Gibson's ass. We all have asses. It's not the same thing, okay? Men should be forced to show the penises in. Oh, I don't care how bluntly it's done. I don't care if Robert De Niro in the first scene of his first movie just walked right up to the camera and goes, here's my penis. Let's get oh, on with the tits. Here in America, there's still argument about whether or not women should be allowed to have abortions allowed we shouldn't even be involved we're guys we should be standing outside the ballot booth with all the other guys holding our wives purses going geez i wonder how they're going to vote how about this how about if men decide whether or not women can have abortions and women decide whether or not we can keep our ball sacks okay how about that is that fair for you america's running on the back of the equal rights plus why can't we have a female president not Cory aquino and dear gandhi gold of my year you guys said margaret thatcher i'm pretty sure she was a woman what am i supposed to tell my daughter honey this is america home of the free land of the brave where you can be anything you want except the boss You know how many different people all over the world celebrate Christmas in different ways? Except the Jews. They don't have Christmas, they have Hanukkah. But one thing the Jews do have is a thing where they light candles for eight days and make wishes about stuff. Adam Sandler made a movie about it. It was called Eight Crazy Nights. And that movie sucked so bad, my opinion of it went straight to video, okay? <laughs> we combine the Jewish eight-day thing with the magic number 12. The 12 days of Christmas, 12 step programs, the 12 apostles, and we've come up with a new tradition we like to call the 12 hot wish sticks of Christmas. So, these, uh, they're really just candles, but uh, I like to call them wish sticks. I guess it's because it reminds me of fish sticks, which reminds me of Fridays growing up in the Catholic Church when you couldn't eat meat, so we had frozen fish sticks for dinner. Because my parents were Irish immigrants and they didn't like cooking actual fish, which explains the potato famine, if you think about it, because you have an island, a piece of land surrounded by water, which runs out of its basic food route, the potato, due to a potato famine, and then three million people starve to death, even though they're surrounded by fish. Surrounded by fucking fish. Anyways, these six wish sticks over here are the good ones, okay? These are my personal ones. They're the good wish sticks. They cover pretty much every important element of my life. And these six over here, well, 
These are the bad or secret evil plan wish sticks, okay? Everybody should have a secret evil plan. I know I do. I make them all the time. Okay, now all of these are fairly harmless evil items to wish upon an enemy at Christmas time. Um, acne, I mean, acne's a pain in the ass, actually. I'm sorry, that would be ass acne, okay? Um, acne only really affects actors and models and Paris Hilton type people who are on camera a lot. Now, Bell's palsy, it's uh, basically a form of temporary paralysis to the face. It's like a stroke, but without the made-for-TV movie. And, and it is gender equal, meaning that Paris Hilton actually could be affected by it, but based on her acting ability, exactly how we know which half of her face had been frozen. We would. Yeah, we'd have no idea. We'd have to stare for a really long time. And shingles, I'm not sure exactly what shingles is, but I know it involves shitloads of diarrhea, okay? And the idea of Paris Hilton running Three. to the bathroom every 15 minutes is just a thought that warms the cockles of my Christmas heart. Now, which one of these wish sticks do we light for whom? Aha, that's where the fun comes in. Is it going to be Paris Hilton, Saddam Hussein, Derek Jeter? Who knows? That's four. Let's face the facts. It's probably going to be Paris Hilton. Now, you may ask yourself, why does Dennis Leary have a hair across his acne-free ass about Paris Hilton? Here's why. What the fuck exactly is her contribution to this goddamn fucking world? Nothing, okay? She can't act. She can't model. And God knows all of us who've seen their sex video know she can't fuck to save her life. So what gives? What gives? Stay tuned and find out. This, of course, is the Yankee Sock wish stick. Yeah. See you later.